Good morning. Good morning, Big Square, Road to Ruta.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee, aka your morning news. Let's start off with cryptos. First of all, happy Father's Day, everyone. You made it, guys. You made it this far. <laughs> Anybody who's a dad knows what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> well, my kids are getting old, so it's all good. They survived. Um, I want to talk about the cryptos, and you're going to hear a lot of negative stuff about cryptocurrencies coming up because all the people who said, no, no, don't buy cryptocurrencies are going to start saying, you know, it's a bubble. We've already heard that kind of. Now it's very dangerous and it'll never take the place of the old system. It's not a currency. Blah, blah, blah. They've been wrong. These people have been wrong for <laughs> year after year after year. They're wrong. And, but they're still talking. And, I think the, the most stark reality is going to come when the unbacked fiat system fails because the banks go down. The derivative bubble implodes and then all those people are saying that Bitcoin will never be a currency will be shown as the fools that they are. They, they didn't look at it from that perspective. Yes, Bitcoin has all kinds of problems in relation to the current system. The current system has been in place since the 70s, the electronic fiat monetary system. They've had all those years to, to work out the kinks, and it, but in the end, there's way too many kinks, and it was a dishonest system, so it is going to fail. What will we look at Bitcoin as once the unbacked fiat system fails? When the banks close down and you lose all your money, and there's Bitcoin sitting there just, just waiting for <laughs> you to adopt it without any government trying to screw it up, without the prospect of you know print money at will type of thing all of a sudden bitcoin will look like the greatest thing since sliced bread it will be it'll be a currency um <clears throat> that's that's why this whole phenomenon came about is the unbacked fiat monetary system is dying and humanity reached out for a solution and they found one it's a pretty good solution if you ask me um so yeah you can hear a lot about from the people who have never endorsed Bitcoin, uh, you're going to hear a lot about why it's so bad. But ultimately, if, it, if you're faced between nothing when the derivative bubble blows and something like Bitcoin, you're going to thank God for Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies. I'm not saying Bitcoin will be the best. Um, it's got the first mover advantage. It's got some crazy computer programmers trying to mess with the original concept that Satoshi Nakamoto had for use in as a means of exchange for everyday people. Um, but there's a lot of other cryptos that uh, can do faster transactions. They, they have thought about this problem with Bitcoin and they're racing to fix it. And whoever does fix it and whoever makes it easy to use and fast and cheap, it will ultimately win in the end. So hopefully Bitcoin can get its act together, um, but maybe not. And then in the meanwhile, we got, you know, over, uh, at least on this chart, it's uh, 756 cryptocurrencies. Ethereum, again, Ethereum is going to be the backbone for accessing the blockchain for most of the new uh, companies coming online uh, that are going to use the blockchain technology. Um, smart contracts, peer-to-peer -peer relationships with buyers and sellers. Uh, oh, <clears throat> in that vein... Uh, let's check out Veritasium. This coin, I'm loving this because this is Reggie Middleton's coin. It's uh, The whole idea is to take out the banksters with it. And it's trading right now. It's not on a, a big exchange yet, so these numbers are, are nothing. Um, it's just on one little exchange and, and the volumes are very low. But right now it's trading at $70, uh, which would put its market cap at about $140 million. Uh, dollars and this coin isn't even out yet really it's not trading it, it should come on the markets this week or next week on the uh, the cryptocurrency markets but you know at 100 million it's already up at was it 140 it's in the top 30 already and it hasn't even started trading so keep an eye on that that's uh, Reggie's way to access the blockchain through Ethereum there's Ethereum right now looking at you know obviously it's it's regained its uh, its strength after falling back briefly. There's really no reason to fall back other than it ran up so much. Um, 
I think people are just figuring out that uh, Ethereum is a huge, huge, huge potential. Uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, has huge potential. I'll post something uh, later today about the potential for Ethereum and how many companies already are, are using uh, Ethereum to access the blockchain. Anyway, let's go over the news really quick. Zero Hedge, right off the top. State of Illinois, we are in a massive crisis mode. This is not a false alarm. <laughs> Why does it take so long for an alarm to go off? And Illinois is one of those states like California. They give away so much benefits to the, to the public workforce. <laughs> you know, these benefits that they give away in the future, you know, their pensions and all that, that's great if you have them. If you don't have them, why are you giving them away? Uh, they're based on projections of this amount of growth over time. And no, all the pensions are, are now bankrupt because the Federal Reserve has left interest rates at zero. And Illinois just always was giving stuff away, just like California. Always giving stuff away. Everything's free. Free. You know, we're going to take care of refugees. Everything's free, free, free uh, until the day you have to pay. And that's where we are in Illinois. Massive crisis mode. I heard the lottery's dumping them. <laughs> or they're dumping the lottery because basically people are putting money into the lottery and the state of Illinois isn't paying the lottery winners. Crazy. Insane. What else? U.S. destroyer nearly sunk after deadly collision. Bodies of seven U.S. sailors found. That's sad. Uh, the bodies of seven U.S. sailors missing after the USS Fitzgerald collided with the Philippines registered ACX Crystal early Saturday were found in flooded compartments of U.S. destroyer, which came close to sinking after the collision tore a gash in the warship's waterline. The U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet commander said on Sunday, that's that's sad. That's a sad accident. Um, I don't, I'm not reading anything nefarious into this. Um, but all our, that, that's a good thing to think about is, is the troops overseas. Why we have troops in every country in the world, I have no idea. Well, I do have an idea, but um, I think it's time to bring them all back. Bring everybody back before the banks collapse because uh, it would suck for these guys to be stuck overseas. And it was in, actually in Cliff's data that uh, a lot of our military, after the banks crash, right when the banks crash, we won't be able to get them home. So I, I think Trump should seriously consider pulling all our troops back. Uh, out of every country in the world and stick them on our own borders and you want to secure the border we got plenty of troops around the world put them on our own borders worry about our own problems not try to mess up and then fix everybody else's <clears throat> that's that's a trump message for the day and speaking of that it's the russia stupid <laughs> oliver stone is is gonna crack the door wide open on this which is great uh will the oliver stone interview change any minds too soon to tell, but if the soft coup against Trump succeeds, it might not matter. Since then, since then, America could not be considered a self-governing constitutional republic, even in a res residual case. Whatever that means. We may have already passed our Rubicon and just don't know it yet. I think we have. There's a lot of signs pointing to the collapse of the United States federal government. And which obviously, since 33 million people work directly or indirectly for the government, uh, their jobs will be gone in a blink of an eye. It's, it's a very, very, very sad time for America, but also on another front, it's very, very happy. It has to crash. The America we know today was built on lies, lies and death and war. <laughs> we don't want that. We want it on truth and honesty. We need to destroy those in power in Washington. Take them all down. Drain the swamp. And I, I think Trump's going to do that. I think that's the plan. But he also knows that once you do that, everything falls apart. And there'll be blame coming left, right, and center. You know, who, who is going to go to jail within Congress? I'm hearing it's about a third of Congress will end up in jail. For anything from corruptions to pedophilia to... Uh, child sacrifice. I mean, really, really bad stuff. Like, really bad. And they got the goods on everybody, and it's just, when is Trump going to pull the plug? And those of you who think that Trump will get impeached need to think that through. If Trump's sitting there with his, quote, Trump card uh, of all the emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop, all the videos on Anthony Weiner's laptop, all the recorded telephone conversations on Anthony Weiner's laptop, and what about all the information in Debbie Washington Schultz's laptop that she is 
begging the Capitol Police to give her, begging and threatening the Capitol Police to give her the laptop back uh, that has all her dirty deeds. So there's a lot of people going to go to jail very soon. And on that note, right here, the next article, someone's going to go to jail. Newt. I love Newt. <laughs> he, he, is he crooked and corrupted? Yes, of course he is. Um, but is he fighting for America? I think so on some level. Uh, he warns that uh, Mueller's Russia wish hunt is too big to fail now. There are too many high-powered lawyers. They're out looking for a couple of scalps, and they're not going home until they get some. I agree. Mueller's about as criminal as Comey. Uh, I would put them on the exact same level. Both of them are corrupt to the core. Both of them uh, have tried to defend the criminal cabal of the Bush-Clinton gang, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. They all work in collusion. Uh, but Mueller needs to be taken out of that. I mean, talk about conflict of interest. Him and Comey are best buddies. How could that not be a conflict of interest? Does anybody ask this question? <laughs> You're worried about conflict of interest because some of the Trump administration were talking to some Russians that, since when is it illegal to talk to Russians? Insanity has hit full speed. Mueller and Comey are... You know, probably bed buddies for all I know, but they definitely have worked together for years and are like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And for Mueller to be investigating whether or not Comey was uh, fired properly or improperly is ridiculous. That is pure conflict of interest. So Trump should throw that out and not care about the consequences. You know, what the media is going to say about it, it's all ridiculous. It's a game. But remember, at the end of the day, Trump has all this information that he can expose at any time. So there's not going to be any kind of impeachment. Impeachment would take years anyway. And uh, even if the proceedings start, he could just open up the kimono and say, hey, look, look at these videos. <laughs> and then, you know, half of Congress will be thrown out instantly. Um, here's a really scary one. Scientists warn current Yellowstone quake storm could rip the guts out of America. The U.S. Geological Survey... Seismology reports conclude that a massive swarm of earthquakes swept through the park on Friday, triggering more than 60 separate events in which seismographs spiked to magnitudes about the 5.0. Yes, the Earth is expanding. If you read Cliff's High's data, this summer is going to be the summer of earthquakes, so get ready. I'm sitting on a fault right now, the San Andreas Fault. You guys saw the movie, right? <laughs> yeah, right now I'm sitting on the San Andreas Fault, and... I, I grew up on the fault, so I, I've been through earthquakes. It's scary stuff when it happens. You can't predict them. You, you can go anywhere in the world, and you're going to have some problem. Tornadoes or hurricanes or, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, the universe is going to throw you a curveball every once in a while, so get ready for it. And apparently, according to close data, there's going to be a lot of earthquake activity uh, this summer because the Earth is expanding. It's growing. It's getting bigger. Um, there's a go to the resources tab of Road to Ruta. The very top article is about chemtrails and what, how they're trying to block the neutrinos from coming into the earth. Just kind of like the movie 2012, except it's not, you know, all moving around the, the plates they're they're moving, but they're expanding and the earth is getting bigger. And you know that the earth is getting bigger because if you shrink all the land masses that there are today, it comes into the perfect ball. Yes. South Africa. Africa and South America fit together perfectly, and they, they called it Pangea was the name that the archaeologists or whoever was that named it. But what they said was it started as one landmass and the rest of the world was water. Well, that wasn't true because if you take Pangea and you, you form it into a ball, it fits perfectly on all edges. So uh, And that, that's true with every planet in our solar system. Uh, Mike Adams, I think it's Mike Adams or something Adams, um, had a video on the Expando Earth model. Go to YouTube and go just at, type in Expanding Earth and you'll see that all the planets are expanding. That's why the dinosaurs couldn't live today because the gravity is different. They'd be too tall to pump the blood to the brain. Um, hmm. If you're interested in that, just go onto YouTube and uh, look up Expanding Earth model and you'll see some really cool videos on that. But yeah, as the Earth expands, you're going to have earthquakes. So... We're in an expansion period. There's going to be a lot more earthquakes, and I'm sitting on the San Andreas Fault right now. <laughs> and we're due. I mean, the last big one wasn't, uh, I don't even know when, the, on the San Andreas was probably the 89 earthquake. Remember during the uh, World Series? <laughs> A's and the Giants? 
Was it the A's? I think it was the A's and the Giants. And then right under him, the earthquake hit. That was a bad one. I was in that one. All right, moving on. Venezuela, Goldman bounce in reserves has gone. The boost in foreign reserves Venezuela enjoyed after Goldman Sachs investment arm picked up $2.8 billion of bonds from the state oil company is almost gone. <laughs> Venezuela is screwed. They pissed off America. America went into the derivatives market and destroyed Venezuela. And we're going to blame socialism, probably socialism's fault as well. Um, but, yeah, there was there was no getting back after that. Yeah, once when Chavez kind of went against the United States' wishes, the U.S. unleashed its economic uh, terrorism, economic hitmen <laughs> on Venezuela, and it, you can be done with a you know a couple of clicks on a mouse in the basement of the treasury. You can take down any country. You can destroy the currency. You can destroy anything electronic, and that's what was done slowly but surely. So that and now the people of Venezuela are suffering. They need to end this game too. Why doesn't Venezuela take their last, you know, few pennies and buy all the silver in the world in that game? Hey, there's an idea and take delivery. All right, lots of bugs out today. Um, let's go to the divided states of America. There's only one way to unite. If we, if only we surrender more of our liberties and governing decisions to Washington D.C., says the political class. The people of the United States can be prodded into unity as long as we are allowed to chew on a bit of happy talk and watch a charity baseball game. The reality is there's only one way to unify the United States right now, and that's to show the Anthony Weiner laptop videos. It will incriminate a third of Congress, and people will know the truth about why we're so divided right now, why it's a con, it's a game, and they're trying to take down the, these just sick people who run our lives. And yes, a third of Congress will be gone instantly. Probably another third will be implicated and associated in some way, most likely because they knew about it and didn't do anything. Um, but now, if you want to unite America, the American people, instantly release everything on that laptop to the people and let them decide. Let them decide. Let them decide who should go to jail and who should not. Who's been running some kind of con behind the scenes and trying to pit the left against the right? You can unite America so fast. We're not stupid. We just need to know the truth. Um, yeah, and I think that's what should be done. I think we're ready. I think we'll be forced into being ready anyway. Anyway, this is Big Square, Road to Root.com. Make sure you go to the website, Road to Root.com, and check out everything we got. Put your name in and get a free book. And uh, we'll talk to you later.